stoner mind. Hey there, how's it going? How are you? What I'm going to be doing today is testing out some more speakers, as you might have guessed. Also, you're probably wondering, is he going to be playing the same old song he's played with the previous speakers and the speakers before that and the speakers before that and the small Bluetooth speakers before that and the small Bluetooth speakers before that? Yes, I am. So to start off with, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to be posting other types of videos to my second channel. The second channel was meant to be a gaming channel, but because I barely game, I'm going to be posting in other types of videos there so just about anything that i make i will post there so you know go subscribe there you might come across a video that you like or i may post a video that you like eventually now this was a speaker that i used last and on that other channel what i did was i made some music using fl studio and i used this speaker just one speaker i placed it on the desk and i made some music with it so if you want to know a bit more about how to make music then maybe check out that video and if you maybe want to know a bit more about what I did in that video then check out that video also you're probably wondering how many more speakers like these do i have left to test well i've got a few and i'm going to be playing the same old song with those speakers too and i may not even play my own track which is a track i just wanted to test the saxophone sound out on with the fly speakers and uh, these so i might just stick to using one song and that one song is the one on the ncs youtube channel named matafaka so the next pair of speakers I'm going to test, they may come as a bit of a surprise or maybe not because they're already in the thumbnail. These four-way speakers, so these should be good. Maybe, maybe not. Also, they're 300 watts. Peak, 75 watts RMS per speaker. Designed in California, USA, manufactured in China. And on the other side of the box where there's a bit of a hole, frequency response 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz more or less like the previous speakers that i've tested 65 hertz to 15 kilohertz at minus 3 db recommended for use with amplifiers up to 75 watts per channel nice i think i've got about 75 watts to spare four-way design for deep bass smooth mids and brilliant highs strontium magnet for powerful bass control okay so let's open this up then and check out these pieces of skosh and uh, we've got some some things. That's a nice texture on this. Won't be needing this. And we have some more stuff. Blah. And these right here are going to be the speakers. All right, so I can't seem to find my razor, so I'm going to have to use the next best thing. Screwdriver. And there we have the speaker. Scotch. 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 Could do with some scotch. I don't drink. I don't like drinking. Looks okay, I guess. Take that out. A rake or so. And I'm going to need to use a razor on this box as well. Drugs. All right, so that is what this speaker looks like. Also, there's a bit of dust protection in there. Here we have both the speakers together. And once again, this looks like a pretty good thumbnail opportunity. And here we also have some screws and some bracket things that came with them, which we will not need. And once again, here we have the box with the crocodile clips connected to the wires and the terminals. Negative, positive, both connect here. Well, it looks as though the screw holes still fit in the same place, which is good. So next is gonna come the sound test and I'm playing the same old song that I play because there needs to be consistency with the speaker test videos. And uh, you'll be able to go through the previous videos and check and sort of just listen to them and see how these speakers compare. More or less anyway, you're not gonna be able to hear exactly how these sound, but yeah, consistency is the only reason that I'm really playing this song. It's not like it's my favorite song or anything, that'd be weird. Somebody also said that these screw holes will eventually get worn out. Well, to be honest, I don't think they will because I'm not over tightening these things. If not, I will use the matchstick method. So thank you, Mr. V-Dub dude, much obliged. All right, so I'm gonna screw in the other speaker and I'll be back in literally right now. There we go, just like that. That was quick, wasn't it? And once again, we have speaker terminals and banana plugs. So in they go. Reika so. Now we can put these into position and see how good these four-way speakers are. And uh, now what I'll do is I'll turn the amp on because we need that. Starting off with a stereo test. Left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. 
Okay, so now I'll play the music. And once again, I'm gonna be testing out these speakers in three listening positions. So this is the first one. The second one will be on top of the original monitor speakers in my room. And then I'll take the camera to the other side of the room and I'll film from there. And you'll get a better idea of what the bass is like because the bass over there is like that over here where I am right now where the camera can't get to. Now this track right here is a track that I made specifically for this test. There's a saxophone here somewhere, there's a bit of a bass line. Originally I did this, I only wanted to do it for myself, just to hear what these speakers sound like. I wasn't going to use it in the tests. Seeing as though I used it in the first video, I used it in the second video, I'm now going to use it in all the videos. Hooray! Also the camera is going to be aimed right here in the center because that is between both the speakers. So the camera is going to stay here for about 30 seconds or so and we'll give this a quick listen. Okay, so this equalizer right here is what I'm gonna to use to bass boost. So that previous song that I played, I'm gonna play it again, but this time with more volume and more bass. And here we are all set up again and play. Okay, so what this test tells me is that these are better than the first pair of speakers that I tested. The second set of speakers I tested had a better bass response. I think the tweeters on the second set of speakers may be a little better than these. Once again, I will do a proper comparison between all the speakers after all these speakers I have are tested. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll keep the bass boost engaged, bass boost, and I'll play the same track that I was playing just then. Maybe a little louder, I'll play it until I start smelling something from these speakers. The first two pairs of speakers that I tested, I accidentally started smelling something from them. Maybe not quite accidentally for the second pair of speakers, but definitely for the first. But we're going to try it on these now, so here goes. Okay, there we go. I can smell something and it smells nice. 
Doesn't really smell nice, but I can smell something. Okay then, so this test is over with, and you're probably getting bored of these tests right now, aren't you? Yeah, are you, are you? No, okay, well, there's some more to come. If you wanna win some of these beakers, stay tuned because I've got a giveaway coming up in the next one.